You know, Jay Cutler has decided to retire, but if he would have had Jeff Orbitz's brother, David, from the Manaka SOI, great plumber on his offensive line, he probably would have won a couple of Super Bowls. He's that big, he's that strong. I love Dave Orbit says I do the Orbit's family. Now, I want to talk to you about... That's our segue? Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, you got to take care of your familiar, baby. Let's talk about the Penguins. Crosby without the non-contact jersey. What's that mean? Uh, that he... In terms of practice, that's the last hurdle to, to scale to jump over. So if he is symptom-free tonight and tomorrow, he I would go? expect him to play wow. in game five. Um, Ovechkin in this whole thing. Your thoughts? In, in what he did to Crosby? Or? Just every, yeah, everything. You know, how he's really yeah. taking a look at um, the whole Niskanen thing. Yeah, I think Crosby, when he was asked about the hit for the first time today, made Ovechkin's role in it to sound less criminal or offensive. He said it was a standard slash, which I agree with him on. I think it's a penalty, no doubt. But I don't think that uh, Ovechkin went in there with bad intentions. I think he was trying to keep a guy from getting a good shot away. And the NHL is allowed in those situations for guys to swing their stick like a baseball bat. If Ovechkin wanted to take Crosby off the ice, he would have either hit him, because that's what he does, he lays big hits, or he would have taken that stick and hit him in the head. And he didn't. So I don't look at him as a guy that had malice in mind. As far as, you know, Ovechkin in the series, I think it's a defining moment for him in a, in a, bad, in a bad way, in a, in a bad light. Um, the way he played in Game 4... You know, even in his own words, was completely inexcusable. And if the if the Penguins beat Washington, uh, it doesn't have to be tomorrow, but just in the series, I think that it's going to force the Capitals to reevaluate themselves. And that would include, I think, taking a long look at Ovechkin, who's let them down in the series. Number one Cochran showdown last week. I was watching you along with Colin Dunlap and Chris Mack. You all pretty much thought it was over. So is it over? Yeah, yeah 90% of teams that go up 3-1 lead, uh, win. Um, so that's the math on that, the percentages. And uh, it takes usually very, uh, like look at the Pirates in 79. You know, you, something emotional needs to happen. Chuck Tanner's mom dies. It galvanizes the yeah, team. Yeah, but they don't have Willie Stargell, man, so that ain't happening. The Caps? Yep, yeah. Uh, the, they're psyched out. The Penguins are in their heads. And I don't see, I don't see that changing in this year. Is this the last chance for Oshie and Ovechkin, and if they don't happen to make it to that cup final and win it, or well, at least get there, will they be back with Washington? Not that whole team, no. I didn't think so. Well, that, Oshie's a free agent. I, I, he could have a pointless night in Game 5, and he's going right. to get big money. And that's not right. going to stop teams from chasing him. Andrew Fittipoli every day with uh, Ron Cook. Before you go, um, Pirates, the basement of the National League Central. Ivan Nova, who's been your best pitcher, Retires 9 out of 10, but they still lose. Joey Votto, a couple of doubles, uh, two RBIs, and he scores twice. They lose. Milwaukee here tonight, Zambelli Fireworks. That's, that's a good thing. The fireworks? Yeah. That's what we're getting back to, you know? No, no, no. Well, no, but... Not yet. I wonder how far away we are from that, though. You know, oh. I, I had high expectations for this year because I like their pitching. And I think their starting pitching has been good, even with Glass now struggles and Cool has been. They're going to grow off. Right? Well, but, but, to me, where, what are they shooting for this year? Okay, is it to just be a competitive team in this September, in October? Well, it's harder to picture that with the Marte suspension and with the Gung situation. So. It's a real struggle for them to score runs. You know that. You've watched them. Like it's it's hard for me right now to picture this team as a pennant contending team. And Polanco is another one of those guys that's got to snap out of it. I mean, we're in we're in May. He doesn't have a home run yet. He's a cleanup hitter. All right. And uh, does LeBron James and company? They could go up three games and on their Eastern Conference semifinal at the Air Canada Center against Toronto. You think they're going to repeat this year? Well, the Parker thing changes it for me because that's another contender now that you sort of scratch off the list. You know, I'm going to say they don't, and I'll tell you why I don't think Cleveland repeats. I don't think their defense is good enough. Wow. I think that they're, to me, there are things you turn on and off. A commitment to playing defense is not one of those things that suddenly in the playoffs you just get. They were a bad defensive team really from the All-Star break on, and Look who's standing in their way. Golden State, one of the most dynamic offensive teams. Now, maybe without their coach, but I would still at this point, in this point in time, I would favor Golden State. Now, this would be the rubber match. 
Yeah, and right? last thing, Jay Cutler, I do wish him the best. I, I was a big fan of his, and I just I think he got nearly the, the shaft in a lot of ways, and, and I just hope he does well with Fox. Well, I mean, what, his wife is in Hollywood. She's in show business. It's okay, man. So I, uh, I don't know what to think of him yet. I wish. I, I hope he has candor, and I hope he doesn't pull punches. I hope he's honest about things, and if he is, he'll do a good job. And Tony Romo is going to try to make it into the U.S. Open. Some people <laughs> have all the luck. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Andrew Filippone, nice major league talent. Have a great weekend.